Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can break objects using rigid body physics in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 2.92. Nice. Now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's start this by creating our text. So for that, go to this add, come to this text here. So here you can see we got our text here. So let me scale this up, press S on the keyboard and increase the scaling. Okay. So since we are nearing 7,000 subscribers, I will enter 7K. So press tab to enter this edit mode backspace to delete that text now enter your text so 7k this is fine now come to this text data properties scroll down this alignment make it to center fine so geometry let me increase the extrusion here i think 0.25 would be fine and if you want to change the font you can come here and select the folder Click on that folder and here from this you can select any of the fonts that you want to so i will select this font and open the font so we got that font here now press tab again to exit that edit mode so now let me rotate that one so r x 90 okay so that we got our text here nice so currently this is not a mesh so first we need to convert this into mesh so go to this object convert to and select mesh so if I move on to this wireframe mode, you can see we got our mesh, but it is not proper. So now let's fix that. So come to this modifier properties, add modifier and add this remesh modifier. So click on this smooth, uncheck this, remove disconnect and increase this opt depth value. So this much of will be fine. So let's apply this modifier. So if I move on to this solid viewport, so here you can see we got our text with proper mesh so with proper mesh nice so now let's break this text into small pieces so in order to do that we'll be using an add-on that comes with the blender itself but we need to enable that one in preferences so in order to enable that come to this edit preferences click on this add-ons and such as fracture here you can see we got this cell fracture by default this will be unchecked enable it save those preferences and close okay so now that add-on is enabled so now let's make this text to break into pieces so select the text so now come to this object quick effects select cell fracture so we got this pop up here so here this is the source limit means the number of pieces we want to break so i will increase this to 500 or else let me reduce to 250 only nice and let me give this recursion to two so now rest and all i will leave like that only and click on ok so here you can see we are getting that pieces formed so here you can see we got this number of pieces on the text okay now select the main text press g and let me bring it side and delete okay fine so now select all the pieces by pressing a on the keyboard come to this object set origin origin to geometry so that the origin point will be at the center of each and every individual piece so that is important for the simulation to work properly okay so make sure that you did that step select any individual piece come to this physics properties and apply rigid body so type let it be active so mass if you want to change you can change i will link changes to 2 kg okay nice so once this is done so we need to add this physics property to rest of the pieces also so select the active one which we have selected first now press a on the keyboard to select rest of the pieces now come to this object rigid body and select this copy from active so now each and every piece has got that physics property rigid physics property okay so if i play this now you can see the text is falling down nice so now let's create a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane now press s to increase the scaling press one first right view and let me place it just here okay nice so now select this ground plane add rigid body type change it to passive nice so if i play this animation you can see the pieces are falling down 
so here i don't want this to happen like this i want the pieces to fall down when an object hits the text so for that let me hide out this plane first okay so select any single piece scroll down to this dynamics okay so enable this deactivation fine expand it and enable this start deactivation also so we have enabled both of these things now we need to copy the same to the rest of the pieces so again press a come to object rigid body copy from active so if i play this those pieces will not be falling down now okay so now let me bring back our plane so here we need an object to make these pieces to fall down so for that i will be using this uv spear okay so let me place it here press s on the keyboard to reduce the scaling and let me place it here okay so be on the first frame let me share it smooth okay. so be on the first frame press i on the keyboard and set a keyframe for location now move forward in timeline like 40 and let me move this spear here okay now again press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for location so if i play this you can say nothing is happening now because we need to add rigid body physics for this spear also so select the spear again apply rigid body onto that so type let it be active but here we need to enable this animated option just click on that okay so if i play this now so here you can see we got this nice simulation here so if you want to see this in slow motion we can do that for that we need to convert this into keyframe we need to convert this simulation into keyframe so i will show you how to do that now so let me select the plane let me hide it out now select this spear and the text okay so come to this object again come to this rigid body and select this bake to keyframes so starting and ending i will change to 50 frames and or else let me change this to 60 okay and hit okay so it takes some time to get all the keyframes so here you can see we got our simulation in the keyframes for okay so in order to slow this down i will move forward now press b on the keyboard for box selection and select these frames here and let me increase the gap between them so if i play this here you can see we got this nice slow motion and also if you want to add any slow motion here so press b select these keyframes select these keyframes and move them a bit here okay nice so in this way we can break objects in blender easily using self fracture add-on so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so i'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care Bye.